Hey, welcome to In the Green Room. Now today, we have a very special guest, my grandfather, Ben Kinchlow. In looking at a, at a postmodern society, uh, it seems like Christianity doesn't have much of an influence at all. Uh, what do you think it would take for Christianity to gain that influence like it once had? Well, the first thing we have to do is we have to separate Christianity from religion. Most people, when they think about Christianity, immediately ascribe it to religion. Christianity is not a religion. It is the application of biblical principles. And the Bible is not a religious book. But for example, you talk about Christianity not having an influence. Let me ask you a question. Is it wrong to kill somebody? Yes. Why? Because the law says that it's wrong. But why does the law say it's wrong to kill somebody? Because there are societies where it's perfectly legitimate to kill someone if you disagree with them or if they have a different philosophy. Christianity has impacted the entire Western civilization. In fact, civilization, Western civilization per se, is founded squarely on the Judeo-Christian principles that we ascribe to Christianity. The world as we know it would be entirely different were it not for the so-called Christian principles that make up the root and ground of our society. But as far as culturally and the way things um, appear, what's accepted, um, it's far from you know, the, the, the Judeo-Christian principles. That's right, because we have had people who have made a definitive effort to transform society into what they think is the ideal society. Um, atheists, agnostics, uh, evolutionists have said, we don't need God. We are God. We make our own rules and regulations. And yet, atheists, agnostics, and, and these non-theologians all believe that the principles the freedoms that they exercise should be theirs, but they can't give you a reason why these freedoms should be theirs if you take Christianity, again, out of it. The problem is we have miseducated the generation that no longer sees these biblical principles as being absolutely essential to the continuation of what we could know as Western civilization. What does the modern Christian do to influence society. The same thing that the early Christians did to influence society. You have to live a life according to the biblical principles. You know, if we live lives, not religious lives, but lives that are based on these biblical principles, what we'll see is exactly what we saw from the Roman Empire where Christianity was introduced right on up to, to modern America, which was built on Judeo-Christian principles, you will see society changed as a result of implementing these Christian principles in our day-to-day -day lives. Grant, thanks so much for being here with me. Thank you, Khalid. It's a pleasure to be with Caleb. I call him Khalid, but he was Caleb. <laughs> Without you, there is no man. <laughs> <laughs> so that was Ben Kinchler. Now, for more interviews like this one, all you have to do is log on to cbn.com slash in the green room. I'm Caleb Kinchlow, and remember, after the lights, camera, action, log on to In the Green Room.